Hi guys, welcome to third grade, chapter nine, lesson one. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. So we're comparing fractions. So when we are comparing fractions, I gave you two kind of ways here um, that you can see how one is bigger than the other. Now, if they both have the same denominator like these ones do, then it's really easy to do this, although you can do it with anything else too um, when they don't have common denominators. But the easiest way is what we call butterfly, okay? Butterfly is when we go, we take the numerator of one and the denominator of the opposite one, and we multiply them. So two times eight is 16. Eight times five is 40. Well, which one's bigger? Well, 40 is. That means five times eight is bigger, okay? So the one with five eighths is the green pepper. So the answer here would be green peppers. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the next one. It says the jars of paint in the art room have different amounts of paint. The green paint jar is four eighths full. Okay, the purple paint jar is four sixths. Now we have the same numerator, but not the same denominator. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my butterflies okay so i know that four times six is 24 and eight times four is 32. well that means that this one is bigger so the one that is four six is purple oh i'm sorry it says less full so that's actually going to be the other one so we have got to read all the way through it says less full so that one is going to be green Okay. All right, y'all. Jan has a recipe for bread. She uses two thirds cup of flour and one third cup of chopped onion. Which ingredient does she use more of? Well, they have the same denominator. Okay. One of them has a two up top and one of them has a one up top. Well, the two is going to be the bigger one. Okay. So that's going to be flour. Okay. So when they have the same denominator, the bigger numerator wins. If they have different, then we're going to do our butterflies. Okay? All right. You guys are going to go ahead and do number five. It says Edward walked three quarters of a mile from his home to the park. Then he walked two quarters of a mile from the park to the library. Which distance is shorter? Just like Miss Leah did up here. Read all the way through. Okay? Shorter. So the smaller number. Okay? All right, we're going to go over onto the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. And we're going to go down and do the spiral review. So Sam, Sam divides a pie into eight. How many equal parts are there? Well, the eighth tells you there's eight. It's that easy, guys. Okay. Draw lines to divide the circle into four equal parts. There's two. There's four. Okay? All right. Charles places 30 pictures on his bulletin board in six equal rows. How many pictures are on each row? Well, that means 30 divided by six, or six times what is 30? Well, we know that six times five is 30. So five pictures. Okay? Now, we need to describe the pattern on the table. So, how do we get from 1 to 5? We can add 4, or we can multiply by 5. So, let's try this. 2 plus 4, well, that's only 6, so that's not going to get us there. But if we multiply by 5, then we got it. Okay, so we are multiplying by 5. Multiply by 5. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 9.1. Come on back for 9.2. See you soon.